So, um, in summer, we have uh, discussed the uh, moral uh, issues with uh, the death penalty. Uh, we've talked about the fiscal means. We've talked about how um, how it's unfair, how it's racist, and all these different subjects. And uh, my opponents have pointed out that the death penalty does not reflect uh, retribution, but social justice. Um, and uh, I'd like to point out an article um, called The Father of Oklahoma City Bombing Victim Speaks Against the Death Penalty, uh, written by Greg uh, Gufrida. Uh, some background, Timothy McVeigh was a domestic terrorist who was responsible for a bombing that killed 168 people in Oklahoma City. This article was written about the father of one of the victims. For Bud Welch, it was the grieving face of Timothy McVeigh's father on the television screen that tempered his desire for <coughs> revenge. After weeks of torment over the death of his only daughter, Julie, in the 1995 bombing of the uh, Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City, the sight of another heart heartbroken father made him realize the death of McVeigh would solve nothing. Uh, my opponents have overdramatized that the victims, um, the uh, relatives of the victims, uh, wish, that, uh, wish that the perpetrator would be killed. And uh, it's not like that for all cases, especially in this one. The fact of the matter is that these, um, these criminals, they are human beings, and that they do have families, and they do have people that care about them. Um, furthermore, uh, my opposition has stated that the government system is imperfect and cannot be correct all the time. And the fact of the matter is that this is true. According to the case against the death penalty by Hugo Adam Badal, um, he mentioned several factors that um, underlie how uh, criminal proceedings uh, work. Overzealous prosecution, mistaken or perjured testimony, faulty police work, Course, confessions, the defendant's previous criminal record, inept defense counsel, seemingly conclusive circumstantial evidence, community pressure for a conviction, such factors help explain why the judicial system cannot guarantee that justice will never miscarry. The fact of the matter is, since the judicial system is multifactorial in its ability to be corrupted, then it should be given then it should give more reason to eliminate the possibility of ending a person's life based on uh, unreliable foundations. Lastly, I'd like to talk about uh, life in prison uh, being more hum uh, inhumane than the death penalty. Um, in an article called The Truth About Life Without Parole, Condemned to Die in Prison, in a sample of 350 death sentences, 118, or nearly one-third, were reversed in a part of a whole. Further, nearly 60% of the cases in this sample were still in various stages of appeals as of 2002. For each of the last three executions in California, more than 25 years have been spent in appeals before the executions finally occurred. The current average for appeals is 17 years and getting longer every day. Uh, so the fact is, even though, um, even though the death penalty, we claim that it's quick and we claim that there will be retribution, when will the retribution happen? 17 years from now, 25 years from now, 50 years from now? It depends on the court, it depends on the jury, it depends on so many factors. And the fact of the matter is, if it was eliminated, uh, none of these issues that my opponent brings up would, uh, would come to light. Thank you. Great. Thank you.